Hey guys, wow, I have not done one of these videos in a really long time, but I figured I was going to do another anti-haul, my second one, I'll link my first one in the thing above, whatever. But then I was like, we're all on quarantine, we've all temporarily lost our jobs, myself included. I'm not about to go out and like buy stuff anyways, so why should I talk about things that I'm not gonna buy when I'm not gonna buy anything right now? So I was like, instead, let's do a like monthly favorites video. So that is what I'm gonna be talking about today, my monthly favorites for the month of March. Time has lost all meaning. Cool. So let's just jump into the first product or set of products here. My favorite lip combination, I'm wearing it right now, this is not just one product. Per usual, I can't just do like, oh, one product. I use like eight products to do one thing. Right now, my favorite lip combination group of items. I feel like I've really got down my ideal like nude lip. I don't really like that like blanked out powdered donut look on me personally. So my nude lip is a little bit darker. It's this. So I start off using the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude 1.5. I hate that I love this product so much. It's pretty affordable, I think it's about 10 bucks. And I'm not a big fan of the Kardashians. I don't own any of Kylie Jenner's products. I will never, but Kim got me. She broke me down because her lip liner is amazing. I'm borderline addicted to this lip liner. I carry it with me everywhere I go. So I start with that, I line my lips. Then I go in with the Flower Beauty Lipstick in Cinnamon Crush Matte. This is a very well-loved lipstick. It's a little bit darker of a nude. Flower Beauty has a really nice formula. I feel like not a lot of people talk about Flower Beauty all the time, but they have some really decent products. So after I've lined my lips, I go in with this product just all over my lips. And lastly, another KKW Beauty product. She's got me. I feel defeated, you know? I feel like she's defeated me. But again, her team makes a bomb ass nude lipstick. This packaging is stunning, but I use the shade Five Nude Cream, kind of like more in the center of my lips. It is such a good formula and it is such a good color. And I hate to give her that kind of credit, but I just have to. Credit where credit is due, you know? So these three products have been my go-to for a nude everyday lip, which I haven't been wearing the last like week because I've just been in my house alone. Okay, the next set of products that I wanna talk about are face products. I use them in my um, foundation routine video. That is the Bite Beauty Changemaker Foundation. I use the shade M55. It's such a good match for my skin. I feel like it's a really good formula. It lets my skin breathe. It, I don't have any issue with it breaking me out. I believe it's a clean beauty product, so I don't feel bad about putting it on my face. I like a medium to medium light coverage when it comes to my foundation, and with just one like layer, I guess, I get that with this foundation. It wears beautifully throughout the day. I think it's one of my new favorites, which is a bummer because it's kind of expensive. To me, that's the only downfall with this product is the price tag, but it's so good. The other face product that just has my heart is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter Primer. Thanks to Jamie Genevieve on YouTube, I've become obsessed with this primer. I got it for Christmas, I asked for it for Christmas because again, it has a bit of a steep price tag. I, it hurts me to spend more than like drugstore prices on makeup. So when I do and I like the product, you know I really like it. Like I showed in my foundation routine video, I typically use this kind of along here before I apply my foundation. Sometimes I add a little bit of it into my foundation. 
it just does a really good job of kind of giving you a natural glow without it being like glitter in your face glitter it's a really great product it's not a new product by any means it's new to me and it's kind of like a staple in my routine now okay now i have a skincare product and i can vouch that I love this product because I know what it's like to not have it now. <laughs> I ordered it when I was running out of it before all of this stuff started up and then my order got delayed and I had about like a week and a half without it and my skin did not like me. And what I'm talking about is rosehip oil. That simple. Um, I use the Acure brand rosehip oil. Any pure rosehip oil will do. My skin just loves this stuff. I apply it after I have cleansed, washed, and toned my face. I apply about two pumps of this to all over my face before I go in with my moisturizer. It just makes my skin so happy. And I have very, very sensitive skin. The smallest little thing will just set it off and it's all over. So now I will never take this oil for granted ever again. Okay, I have two more products to talk about, non-beauty related. One is a beverage. For Christmas, the one big thing that I asked for was an espresso machine. I only like espresso-based drinks, because to me, just like drip coffee, well, and I like cold brew, but to me, like drip coffee just tastes like dirty water. I need that like punch. So I got the machine for Christmas, and from then, on it was about finding the best bean for me to use like my favorite go-to and i finally found it at sprouts of all places the grocery store i don't know if you guys have one of those by you um it's like a like i know up in ohio where i'm from they have like earth fair and stuff it's kind of like that um but in we at least in tennessee we have sprouts they have a bulk coffee believe it or not that is like my favorite thing. Oh my God. It smells, I can smell it through the bag. It smells so good. <laughs> it is their Velvet Moon Espresso. I love it so much. I get the whole bean and then I grind it as I go. It's so like full bodied and it just has such a rich flavor to it. It's very smooth, which I love. I also like a very dark bean very dark roast bean. <clears throat> I, I don't like blonde, not my thing. So this is really rich, really dark, full bodied beautifulness. So if you like that and you're looking for a good bean to use in your espresso machine, I highly recommend this if you can get to a Sprouts. And the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is actually a show like a lot of basic white girls love true crime particularly like my favorite era is like the late 60s early 70s and i'm weirdly fascinated with kind of some of the like big name serial killers that were active during that time it's like so disturbing i can't look away maybe that's like concerning i don't whatever but hulu recently put up all of fx content which i was so excited about they make some amazing content and I was just like, thank you. <laughs> this could not have come at a better time. <laughs> they have a four part docu-series called The Most Dangerous Animal of All. And it is about this man who, he wrote a book like a while ago. Like I've heard of this guy before. His name's Gary something. It's a four part docu-series about how he believes that his biological father was the Zodiac Killer. I watched this like I had to force myself to spread this out because I wanted to just sit there and watch all of it all at once but I was like pace yourself you gotta savor the good quality content it's a really well done series it had me like completely engaged the entire time I can't say enough good things about it it's very informative it they do such a good job of telling a story it's just so interesting to me. So if you're into that true crime stuff, you're probably gonna love it if you haven't seen it already. And I actually lied. I have one more thing, and that is a YouTuber favorite. I 
have been slowly getting into watching like smaller youtubers or what do they call them like micro influencers or like, i don't know um but tattoos and tattoo education and tattoo culture is something that i love i'm not heavily tattooed by any means i do have a few tattoos and i have plans to get more um but i just find learning about the different styles listening to people talk about tattoos watching people get tattoos like it's all i just love it so much so i came across the youtuber treacle tats or lauren sharp probably like end of last year beginning of this year and i'm just like obsessed with all of her videos if you like tattoo content if you like watching people talk about their new tattoos talk about tattoo care talk about tattooers and tattoo artists she's just she's so cute and adorable and she's british i just am obsessed with watching her videos i'm like going back and watching all of her old videos now that i'm like caught up with the new ones and she has some badass tattoos too so i highly recommend watching her if you enjoy tattoo content if you don't then she's probably not for you and that's okay so there we have it that is going to be my favorites for the month of march i've had time to reflect and look inwards on things that i actually genuinely love and use and watch because we're all trapped inside in our own space right now with that being said everyone please stay safe wash your hands this sucks but the sooner that we all just get on board and quarantine ourselves the sooner that this can start moving in a more positive direction so please do yourself and others a favor and stay at home okay my preaching is over i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know some of your favorites down below as usual all of the products and things that i talked about will be linked below stay safe and i will talk to you in my next video bye <laughs>